Hello everyone and welcome to Outlast. My name is Signify Horror and together we'll be exploring the dark depths of true depravity, desperately searching for the truth as to what happened in this horrible asylum. Uh, we're going to be starting a new playthrough and here we go. Start on normal. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mark Massive Asylum. Mark Massive Asylum. Okay, that's Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can and record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend's seminar on QLAB and we'll be in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low-flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Hamlet. Seems the Arabattle Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. But do keep all that to the indoors. This place is pretty big. Yeah, I got some goodies here. Subject, TIP, Illegal Activity at Murkov Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick, they may be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at the Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am not very much breaking right now. I am very much breaking right now. But seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt at Murkov, And Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Smack the camera, load the batteries. For an indie game, the graphics in this game are absolutely astounding. Look pretty great, even the thunder back there, lightning. All right. Highlighter. Well, okay. Shift is our sprint button. To open a door quickly, press the left mouse button. To open it slowly, hold down the left mouse button and move forward. We slam doors, just, just. Oh, okay. Where is the camcorder? Oh, hey fella. Well, you kind of see him trailing off there. That was kind of neat. Is that him? Okay. Mount Massive Asylum. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has, be, has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks these bastards. Well, let's try the front door. 
course not. Can never be too easy. Okay, there's a lock there. It is locked. limbo to get into this gate. Wow, this guy, he can crouch. Okay, another lock door. I have a feeling this is going to be a trend. Let's scroll in and out. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck ladders. Here we go. <sighs> Nothing to be had over here, I suppose. Let's go ahead and go uh, out this door. Ah, fine gentleman. She looks kind of snarky. <laughs> what was that? Oh, calm down, TV. Don't need to be screaming at anybody. Morin. Never buy a Morin TV. Scream at you. Project AJ8. Yeah, that's what that says. Ooh, what's this? Oh, a battery. Awesome. Can we interact with these? Hmm. Oh man, here we go. There's some blood. Let me get some action soon. this up. Okay. Alright. J. Patient initials WPH Billy. Initial date of patient consult 2009-412. Patient age 19. Observing physician Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnos diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and NREM cycle. Laughter and NREM state. Not too sure what NREM is. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Markov in the asylum. This re represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claim that he discovered the truth in the blood, the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Markov Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Round Mass of Colorado. All right, so we got some kind of teenager Billy. Got something crazy going on with him. All right. Need any TP in there, buddy? No? Okay. All right, just checking with you. That's some very generic cola machines. 
and avoid contamination by washing your hands next to some intestines. Okay. We did do some TP. Okay, we got some of those really rough napkins, you know, they keep in kitchens. This thing's really just not comfortable. Alrighty. Library. Whoa! Hey there, fella. by you here. My only question is, how is this guy alive? Look at look at this wound. Look at the state of that wound. That is insane. He is a miracle of modern medicine. I guess I don't know. Anyway, it's tricky to know that we got. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkov scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say, Murkov Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's long-time M.O. has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another million. Billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off of building a... Cr of a building full of crazy people? Serious question. There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a stick. Tells me to get the fuck out and, and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. That door close. Wow. Somebody had an accident. Really hope that's all blood. Okay. And an arm. Okay, okay. We'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and close this. Yeah. Okay, so somebody's in there. Somebody is definitely, definitely hanging out in here. Let's, okay, let's reload our batteries. Can we join him? Can we say hello? No, we cannot. Okay, I have a bad feeling about that. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Oh, get a fake! Ouch. And who are you? Who are you? Then? These are the real questions, folks. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. So let's see how far he actually threw me. Wow, okay, how... You would have thought he would have 
broken something on the way down or landed in some glass. She kind of clearly did. I guess I'm just really lucky. Okay. That's good. Some dead guys. Oh, another note. Let's check this out. All right. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112. Affidavits have been made before the Board of Directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic, catastrophic security failure of psych, psychiatric center with immediate danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony established successful evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions, regardless of responsibility. A whole page for responsibility. Awesome. Okay. It's a gross misuse of paper. Hey, dead guy. Okay, good. These aren't the screaming TV brand of monitor. So that's definitely good to note. You shouldn't scream at us while we're walking by. Patient initials CLW, Walker. Consultation date 2013-05-28. Patient age 32, male. Observing physician Dr. Rudolf Wernicke. Notation by Dr. Walsh. Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patient's reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker has interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Okay. Restraint have had... Does restraint have had to be... That just sounds weird. Restraint have had to be altered to... Okay. Accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing... Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tatara lizards and their perennial <laughs> parietal eyes. Per parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So that must have been that really big dude that was chasing us and threw us off the balcony. He's a big dude. He looked like he uh, had some skin missing. What are we freaking out about? Oh my god, these files. They're classified. We're not supposed to be in here. Cue to peek. Cue to peek. Okay. Cue to peek. Okay. Just, it's probably behind me. Ah, okay. Guy down there. Is that... Is that the TP that guy was looking for? Okay, anyway. Hey, fella. Oh, Alright, we're just gonna... Oh, oh. What are they doing? of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Okay, if nobody's home, we should... Oh no, screaming TV. Jump scare? Jump. Jump scare? No jump scare. Hey, fella. Wow, you look crazy. What happened to these guys? Wow. Okay. Oh, 
he's he's pretty dead. Okay. He looks pretty safe. Let's go check him out. Oh, he's got glowies. Hey glowy. Key card for security control. Really wish I could hang these phones up. Those are really annoying. Jump scare this time. Probably going come back around. Hey guys. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close this. Hey okay, guys. Ah, uh, okay. Wheelchair man. Uh, okay. Ah! Okay. Get them out! Nothing in the eyes. Get them out! Get them out! Get them out! Yeah, that'll, that'll show you, crazy guy. Sorry about that. Nice wheelchair. Oh, see you later. Oh, Alright, let's close this door. What in the hell is going on around this place? This is just insane. Insane asylum. It's insane. It's really insane. Claim the gospel. Yep. All right. Can go up there. Oh, that's where we just came from. Okay, so we don't need to go in there anyway. Somebody pushed a poor gentleman in a wheelchair down the stairs here. That's really just unfortunate. Okay, so we're, we're okay. Let's just, let's go down here. But he's gone. There's no gentleman down here. And we can't go in there yet. Alright guys, before we continue, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it here, and we're going to come back to this one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.